Hello everybody, I'm Levels here. Welcome back to the Maneater. This is um the most unforgiving single player campaign I have ever seen. This room is simply loaded with stuff. Um, if this is a normal type of uh, finale in any way, I will need the hammer for this. Very well. Apparently this is a boss fight. Boss intro. On. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, I will need to use the hammer. Does that mean like only the hammer or what? Dag, yo. I don't know. Alright, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Um, here we go. Here's the intro, I guess. Oh, oh shit! Hang on! I'm hanging on. Well then, this is interesting. Definitely interesting. Oh dear god. Do I need to bink this guy? Bink? It's it's down. Oh nope, it's up. Uh I'm assuming <laughs> that I don't need to use the hammer on the normal zombies. Oh Jesus! A tank just straight up came out of nowhere and blew me into the lava. Uh, at least I teleported back. That's kind of kind of them. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Where's this Where's this dragon thing coming up? Thanks, Nick. Come here. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. It made a noise. That means uh that means I did things. All right screen is vibrating. The entire screen is vibrating the entire time, so that's probably why I missed the tank the first time. There's a charger. Watch out for that. Oh god. Nick! Watch out, Nick. Uh, I got hit by a rock. Alright. Ooh, another rock. Rochelle's getting slammed. I just got slammed again. Uh, yeah, I'll heal myself this time, I guess. I guess. Alright, time for the binky hammer, I guess. Go ahead. Oh, I'm Alice this time. Come on. Ah, I see. I was supposed to hit it while it was down. Well. Very well. Probably would have known this if I was... Not deprived of a GameCube as a child. Can I hit him while he's flying around? I don't even. I don't even know. Come on. This is seriously like whack a mole here. I'm assuming that's just. Uh, it's just, you know, the limitations of the. the games back then. Back then. It's not even that old of a game. It's maybe, like, less than 10 years, right? Oh, something happened! Rescue has arrived! That is craziness! <laughs> I can get through the boss fight, but I can't get through three of the map, or two, three, four, and five. Maps three, four, and five, I can't get through himself. Um, this was, uh... This stopped being. Look at that! Four minutes for the boss fight. That's craziness. Um, this 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 review stopped being a review pretty much like midway through. I would definitely say if you're the kind of person that normally plays mods single player, like I have been pretty much for a very long time, uh, skip this one. It is frustrating, and you're just gonna <laughs> you're just gonna be beating your head against a brick wall. If you have maybe at least one other friend, uh, I'd say definitely give it a try. It's probably 
really cool if you have uh, three or four actual human beings playing. Um, in regards to the mod, you know, geez, anytime you anytime you create something that can instantly kill your entire team, it's frustrating. Especially the stuff that wasn't player trained, like those door traps and stuff. You you have like established source material that you're using, so it's probably applicable to you know Legend of Zelda and stuff. But I you know, translating that into a first person environment where it's incredibly detrimental to be knocked in instantly incapacitated is uh this is, is quite a thing uh, it it just felt overall like the designer's fist was coming through my monitor and like punching me in the face and he's like stop hitting yourself stop hitting yourself like a bully i felt bullied through sections of this um playing alone playing with three friends probably an entirely different story so That'll be my end. Uh, if you play alone, don't even bother playing this. If you have friends that you play with regularly and you can convince them to install mods, definitely give it a shot. Uh, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching everybody! Join me next time. Uh, actually, I have a Half-Life 2 mod coming up next week instead of a Left 4 Dead 2 mod. So that'll be something different. A dash of flavor, if you will. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye. God mode one, I guess. Uh, you can do director stop. That will stop all the zombies from spawning, except for the ones already spawned. Um, a mug? How did I miss there being a mug last time? Anyways.